Hey, up it's Steve from that old Yorkshire geek, and happy Valentine's Day to all you young lovers and not so young lovers out there. I hope you have a lovely day and get into the lots of lovely treats and all that stuff, because I never get Valentine's cards or treats or anything, but never mind. For the occasion, I've decided to do a list of my top 20 all-time sexiest film stars, both men and women, in my opinion. It's my favourite, you know, sexiest um film stars from all ages some of them have passed away uh, so you know they come from all time periods uh, not going for, like to silent movies but uh, you know not far off <laughs> for one of them but uh, anywho so let's get on with it shall we let's get on with it and they're not in any particular they're not in like order they're just a top 20 you know of of um who I think are the, the sexiest uh, film stars, uh, but they're not in any order. So, like, the first one you see is not number 20 or not number one either. So, there we go. So, without further ado, let's get into the list. So, here we go. I've got some slides. So, we're going to look at pictures. We're going to look at pictures of these uh, sexy film stars. So, off we go. Number one uh, is not number one, but it's just the first slide. Right, so, off we go. The gorgeous Raquel Welch, the late Raquel Welch, she passed away quite recently, unfortunately. But she was still gorgeous, even in the later years. But um, uh, I don't know what she's in here. Uh, I know her from, I know she's been in lots of stuff and lots of films and TV and everything. But for me, uh, she was always Luana in One Million Years BC. That's what first uh, got her to my attention. So there we go. So that's Raquel Welch, number one. That's, you know, a given, isn't it? Some of them are pretty obvious, by the way. <laughs> some of these uh, these selections of mine, and some of them you may not have heard of, but uh, off we go. Next up, Brad Pitt. We're going to go girl boy, girl boy, by the way. Uh, Brad Pitt, obviously, one of the most handsome men ever. He makes me bloody sick. Um, for me, he was Achilles in Troy. If you watch me, Magnificent Mondays, we did Troy recently. He was always Achilles in Troy. So there we go, that's Brad Pitt. Next up, who's this going to be? You know what, I can't remember. <laughs> I've done the slides and I've forgotten already. But anyway, here we go. Oh, it's Valerie Leon. Don't know if you know her. In, in the UK, she's known for being the high karate girl on the adverts for some, you know, like an aftershave. Um, but she first came to my attention, probably in this film, um, uh, The Spy Who Loved Me, the James Bond film, where she plays the hotel receptionist. Uh, but for me, now... You know, since I've gone on and gone older, she's always Queen Tira in the Hammer film, um, 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 Blood from the Mummy's Tomb. Oh, God, I nearly forgot then. Uh, Blood from the Mummy's Tomb. There we go. She's very um, um, buxom, shall we say. <laughs> but there we go. Valerie Leon. She's gorgeous. Oh, and I've got a photo with her and I forgot to include it. I will include it here. So, so next up, who's next? Let's see. It's Henry Cavill, another given, to be honest. Uh, another one of the most handsome men ever. Makes me bloody sick, but he's British. Um, and of course, he's been in lots of stuff. You know, he's The Witcher and you know, he's uh, Superman. And uh, he's going to be in Warhammer. And he's going to be Highlander, isn't he? So there's been all this stuff. But for me, he's Superman. Uh, I know he's not Christopher Reeve. Christopher Reeve is Superman. But for Henry Cavill, when I see Henry Cavill, I always think Superman. So there we go. So there we go, so that's Henry Cavill. Who's next? Who's next? Carolyn Munro. Another, uh, like um, Valerie Leon, we're actually in the same film. Probably got my attention. The same film got my attention twice. <laughs> uh, back in the day, when I was 10 years old, would you believe? Um, but Carolyn Munro, uh, another Hammer um, scream queen, I suppose you could say. Valerie Leon did the Hammer film, Blood from the Mummy's Tomb. Carolyn Munro did one or two Hammer films, uh, but for me, most famously, she did, um, most famously for me, she did um, uh, Dracula AD 1972. I love that film. But she will always, for me, be Naomi in um, uh, The Spy Who Loved Me, who James Bond blows up from his submarine car. She's flying a helicopter, but she's gorgeous. And I've got a photo. No, I haven't. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm going to say I've got a photo with her, but I haven't. What am I talking about? Um, you know what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of um, Madeline Smith. Uh, that's what I'm thinking of. I've got a photo with her. But she's not in this list. Sorry, Madeline. But you're not. Uh, you, but you are lovely. Anyway, right. Next. Before I dig a hole for myself. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, Pierce Brosnan. James Bond again. 
quite a few James Bond references in this list, by the way. Uh, make of that what you will, but there he is, Pierce Brosnan, who, who played James Bond, obviously, from 95 to whenever, 2001-ish, I don't know, I can't remember. Whenever Die Another Day came out. But yes, he will always be James Bond, won't he? Or a James Bond, we've got another one later, uh, for the for the last one. But uh, there we go, that's Pierce Brosnan. Uh, Remington Steele, I mean, that could be Remington Steele for all I know, but it isn't, it's James Bond. Uh, Yvonne Romaine is next. Um, I think I've only seen her in one film, <laughs> to be completely honest. <laughs> but she's astonishingly gorgeous. I first saw her, I think I've only seen her in um, um, Legend of the Werewolf, or The Curse of the Werewolf. I forgot now, my brain stopped working. The one with Oliver Reed, that one. Uh, I've only seen her in that, but I know she's been in other films, um, uh, Hammer films, and uh, some other, you know. But I've not seen them, I've only seen her... In um, there we go. In uh, Curse of the Werewolf, it's Curse of the Werewolf, isn't it? With Oliver Reed, but I say astonishingly gorgeous she is, and she doesn't have a single line in the film because she's mute. But she's the mother of the werewolf. Uh, obviously not there. That's a publicity shot, but never mind. Right. So that's Yvonne Romain. Uh, who's next? Uh, Clint Eastwood, icon. Into he's an icon. Uh, you know the man with no name. Dirty Harry, you know, everything. He's done everything, and he's, he's, he's even been a, a, a fighter pilot in Firefox. Um, it's another film I love. <laughs> but um, for me, he is the character he played. You know, I've forgotten the name of the character he played in uh, Where the Eagles Dare. I love that film. Plus, it all, always also gives me uh, an excuse just to show um, uh, Ingrid Pitt, uh, who we're going to see next. So there we go. So that was Clint Eastwood. Here's Ingrid Pitt. There she is, the gorgeous Ingrid Pitt. An astonishing woman. She's a, um, a concentration camp survivor. Um, I say she's passed away now, unfortunately. Uh, but she's uh, astonishingly beautiful. Uh, lots of Hammer films. Uh, as I said, Where the Eagles Dare. Uh, later on in her career, she did um, um, Who Dares Wins. She played a baddie in that. Uh, and there she is. I think that's from, this is from Countess Dracula, I think. Uh, but, like I said, astonishingly beautiful woman. And uh, one of my all-time favourites, that's Ingrid Pitt. Right, who's next? Tanya Roberts. I've missed somebody out, haven't I? Have I missed somebody out? Maybe when I get two, two boys coming up, I think I've gone wrong somewhere. Never mind, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Tanya Roberts is next. Um... Here she is from, I think, is it Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, which I've never seen. It's just a nice photo. Uh, she's obviously in the James Bond film, uh, A View to a Kill. Um, not the best Bond girl, to be completely honest, uh, but, you know, she did a job. She screamed a lot. She said, James, save me, and all that, whatever. But for me, she is the character that she plays. Again, I can't remember. I'm not really paying much attention to the story. In uh, Beastmaster. And again, I said the late Tanya Roberts, she passed away a few years ago. Very sad, a very young age. And it was very confusing, wasn't it, around her death? She died, and then she hadn't died, and then she had died. It was very confusing. Anyway, there we go, Tanya Roberts. Uh, she was gorgeous. Next up, Hugh Jackman. I think we're going to have two boys next, because I think I've messed it up. Or it might be later on. Whatever. I moved somebody about. I moved Ingrid Pitt up, and that's what's messed up my list. Never mind, it doesn't matter. Hugh Jackman, uh, Wolverine, and that's what he's known as, isn't it? But he did, you know, The Greatest Showman and uh, Van Helsing, he did that, which was bloody terrible, but <laughs> it was fun. But uh, that's it. we know him as, as Wolverine, don't we? Um, Logan, etc. And he's coming back in Deadpool 3. Yay! Who's next? It's Sybil Danning there. She's in V. You know what? I don't actually remember seeing her in V. Was she in the series? I bet she was in the series, wasn't she? I don't remember her from the, the mini-series, V or V Final Battle. So it must have been the TV series. But um, I remember her as St. X-Men in um, um, Battle Beyond the Stars. And there she is. Uh, she made an impression. Let's just say that. <laughs> so that's Sybil Danny. Uh, Carl Urban, there he is, another, um, is he Australian? I think he's Australian, not New Zealand, is he Australian, isn't he? Um, who makes me sick? Um, uh, so handsome and talented. I hate him, but uh, <laughs> there he is. Uh, I think he's in, um, he's probably been doing The Boys recently, because he's got the, the beard and moustache and dark hair. But to me, he's just dread. He is dread. 
uh, is Carl Urban. But, uh, and you don't see his face, uh, apart from the bottom half of it. But it still works, it still works. There we go, Carl Urban. Next, Marilyn Monroe. What's to be said about Marilyn Monroe? One of the all-time beauties. Uh, she was a great actress. Was she Oscar? I think she was Oscar nominated, wasn't she? She maybe have even won one. I don't know. I can't remember. But uh, Marilyn Monroe, you know. What can be said about Marilyn Monroe? Eh, she was a candle in the wind, according to uh, Elton John. But uh, there we go. So next up, George Clooney. Another fellow that makes me sick. He just oozes charisma. Even as Batman in Batman and Robin. Terrible film. And he was a terrible Batman. But he just oozes charisma, doesn't he? Um, he was good in The Peacemaker as well uh, one of his uh, maybe his first film, I don't know but to me, he is um, um, oh, I forgot, Seth, Seth Gecko in uh, From Dust Till Dawn that's who he is, always, he'll always be Seth Gecko to me um, you stay cool you know, an amazing role and an amazing actor and a just totally handsome man, makes me sick next, Nancy Kovac, now then I don't, I'm not sure if she's with us anymore. Um, she might be. I don't know. Uh, but here she is in, uh, she's in Star Trek, the original series, as Nona in um, the episode Private Little War. I think it was called that. Uh, it's played Nona. But I know her as uh, Medea from Jason and the Argonauts. There she goes. Um, in Colchis, she was the, the priestess in Colchis uh, doing the dance. Giving it all that. <laughs> where they have to go steal the golden fleece from. There we go. That's it. Another astonishing gorgeous woman. I mean, look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. Oh, right. Next. <laughs> uh, Chris Hemsworth. There he is with his shirt off, obviously. Um, another fellow that makes me I hate him. I know they put the work in. <laughs> not lazy like me. They put the work in to keep their looks and their physiques. But, you know, he's Thor, in it? He's great in the extraction films, and everything he does is pretty good in. Um, Cabin in the Woods, he was good in that. Um, and all, and you know, all the other stuff he's been in. But he's Thor, isn't he? There he is as Thor. That's what made his name. Never mind. What are we in Home and Away, or Neighbours? All these Australian actors started in either, one of those soaps, didn't they? All they seem to have done. But uh, he is Thor, so that's Chris Hemsworth. Right, off we go. We're getting near the end now. We're getting near the end. Clark Gable, another blast from the past. Obviously, you know, Rhett Butler, Gone with the Wind. That's who he is, isn't he? He's been a million other things as well, but, you know, super handsome, all-time screen icon. There we go, that's Clark Gable. Who's next? Elizabeth Olsen. I'm always saying I'm a huge simp for Elizabeth Olsen. And I am. I think she's gorgeous. She's one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. In my opinion. and um, But there she is. Uh, but she's Scarlet Witch, isn't she? She's done other things. Um, that's it. She's, I liked her in Godzilla, the the, the 2014 one. Uh, and she's in a film called Silent House, which was a remake of a Uruguayan film that looks as though it's done all in one take. Uh, but it isn't. It just looks that way. Uh, and that's an interesting film. But she's Scarlet Witch, isn't she? So, so that's what... Uh, People remember her as, and uh, that's why I remember her as, mostly. But, as I say, I love Elizabeth Olsen, and I want her to marry me. But she won't. <laughs> Not that I've asked her. Uh, and I think, finally, I think finally now, uh, yes, I'm finally, Sir Sean Connery, the late Sir, Sha Sir Sean Connery, um, another actor that just oozes charisma. I don't know, is, is he handsome, or is it just his confidence and his twinkle in his eye? I don't know, but there he is in Highlander playing um, um, Ramirez in Highlander. But he's James Bond, isn't he? He's the original James Bond uh, from the Eon films. Uh, there he is, that's James Bond. In Goldfinger. Uh, but there we go, so that's Sean Connery. As I said, he's, he's in my top 20 as well. Uh, of the, the sexiest film stars of all time. Right, so we'll, we'll run through them one more time, shall we? We'll go through them one more time. Just to remind you, so we're going in reverse order this time. Sean Connery was at number 20. They're not in any order. Uh, at 19, Elizabeth Olsen, uh, My Future Wife. <laughs> 18, Clark Gable, Icon. Uh, 17, Chris Hemsworth, Thor. Uh, 16, Nancy Kovac as Medea from Jason and the Argonauts. Just, I wanted to dance for me. <laughs> Um, I forgot what number we're on. Uh, 15. George Clooney. Seth Gecko. 
be cool. <laughs> there he is. Uh, Marilyn Monroe, again, another icon. Goes without saying, doesn't it? Carl Urban, he's dread, he's the law. Um, there we go. Uh, Sybil Danning, uh, a St. X-Men from Battle Beyond the Stars. She had a beautiful ending. <laughs> she did. This is in V, which I can't remember her from. Hugh Jackman is Wolverine. Uh, and other things, but everybody knows him as Wolverine. That's his calling card. Um, how does he get those veins? I don't know. Do they inject him with something? I don't know. But anyway, or is it just hard work? The late Tanya Roberts. Uh, as um, I can't remember the name of her character in Beastmaster. I should have looked it up. Never mind. It doesn't matter. But uh, and there she is in Sheen. But Beastmaster is uh, where I discovered uh, the late great Ingrid Pitt. Another astonishing beauty. And there she is with Clint Eastwood, another icon of the screen, Clint Eastwood, Dirty Harry, the man with no name, etc. And then Yvonne Remain from Curse of the Werewolf. Was it Legend of the Werewolf? My brain stopped working, don't know, I've forgotten. But she made an impression anyway, astonishingly beautiful, in my opinion. Pierce Brosnan, he is Bond, another one. <laughs> uh, why haven't I got Roger Moore in here? Because he's not particularly handsome, in my opinion. He's all eyebrows, isn't he? But uh, Carolyn Monroe, another one from a Bond film, as Naomi, and she got blown up, and I was really sad. <laughs> because, uh, you know, she was, in the words of Roger Moore's 007, what a handsome craft, such lovely lines. There she is, anyway. Uh, and then Henry Cavill, uh, what number are we on? Uh, I can't remember, never mind. Uh, there's Henry Cavill uh, as Superman, that's what everybody knows him as, but he's going to be Highlander soon, so we will see what happens with that. Uh, Valerie Leon, the high karate girl, but there she is as Tira, Queen Tira from uh, Blood from the Mummy's Tomb, and there she is in the same James Bond film as Carolyn Monroe. And she was in another James Bond film, but the unofficial one, um, 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 the Thunderball remake, um, Never Say Never Again, she was in that. Uh, but that doesn't count. <laughs> uh, uh, Brad Pitt, oh, we're at number two. Brad Pitt, there he is as Achilles in Troy. Uh, done loads of other stuff, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, etc. But uh, there we go. And at number one, Rackle Welch. She probably, maybe she's been number one, I don't know. Uh, there she is as uh, Luana from uh, One Million Years BC. Not entirely factually accurate to that film, but never mind. <laughs> But uh, let's say another screen icon, and you know, and sadly not with us anymore. She stayed beautiful right until the day she died. But anywho, so there we go. So that's my list, my top twenty sexiest film stars of all time, in my opinion. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you agree with me. I'll probably get lots of um, comments, maybe saying why didn't you pick such and such a person? It's just my personal top twenty. There we go. I could have picked twenty others, <laughs> but. I decided to go for these. So there we go. So we'll leave it there. So again, happy Valentine's Day. Wherever you are, look after each other. Give each other a big kiss and a hug and have a nice glass of wine or whatever you're going to do. And some chocolates or whatever. I don't know. I don't celebrate these things because nobody loves me. So wherever you are, look after each other. Until next time, I'll see you.